Hey everybody, it's a cult receivable time. Anthony here with Teresa. Hello. Oh, I got a, I got a bit of a, I had a bit of an echo there. Sorry about that. Um, because I had the channel up on another browser and I heard myself and I'm like, wait a minute, that's wrong. Oops. Yeah, no, it's fine. Anyway, here's the deal. We're getting back into some more Slay the Princess tonight. Um, so here's the thing. Actually, um, Black Tabby Games just today released a content patch <gasps> that uh, adds a whole bunch of stuff to like the end game that everyone was like, oh, hey, um, is this the pristine cut? And they're like, no, the pristine cut comes out later this year, but the end game has been kind of locked in like the definitive version of the end game has been locked in. So mm -hmm. we're going to release that separately now so that people can play it. And then when the pristine cut drops, there'll be extra roots and dialogue and stuff like that, that fills stuff in as you go. But like they, they put this out first, which is honestly great. Um, there's like orchestration and other stuff. Apparently I was reading the patch notes. I'm honestly, I, I don't know how this is how black tabby games is a two person, you know, thing they're doing. Yeah. They're doing the work of like 80 people at least. Um, so, okay. We're getting back into it. This is a love story. We're going to load the game. We're going to lay the princess. We're going to lay the princess. Uh, there's knife, knife wife. wife. Yeah. Was knife wife where we left it right here? Yeah, yes. That seems yeah. right. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so knife wife wanted to do a stab, which is what knife wives do. Yes. Um, do we want to, do we want to go through any of these routes? Um, um, are you the same being as you were before? I mean, we know that. What does it feel like to, to change like this? Um, ask, ask her about, her about that. The vessel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah we yeah, should yeah. do that. Yeah, we should be doing that. Um, uh, you have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. You tried to stab me a bunch. I mean, uh, at least she was open about that she wanted to. That's true. Uh, Unlike the narrator who won't tell us jack shit. I don't want to... Where, where's the... How many more vessels do I need to bring you? And what if I don't want to... Okay, no. Hold on, am I missing... Uh, are you the same being to her? What does it feel like to change like this? When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? You know that at the end, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? Uh, well, closer... Why... Blah, 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 blah. You've been kinder. Anyone else I've met? Why? What do you want me to bring you next time? Oh, here we go. Do you have any thoughts there on this? There they things? are. All right. This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Indomitable? Ooh. Mm. Do not mourn her. That's a good feat in D&D. She is exactly where she not really. to be. Oh, th these buttons up here are new. These weren't here last time. Oh, yeah, because they were down at the bottom. Oh, oh, yeah, they were down here where it was really where hard to see Where you could barely see them. See them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I won't mourn her. She tried to kill me a lot. Um, okay, you've been kinder to me. She did kill us a lot. A lot. Uh, yeah, we, we, I mean, we kept getting back up. We kept getting more people in our heads. Yeah, there was so much murder in like, that room. Like her, okay, she's literally being held back. Hey, Loop, how you doing? Um, I don't want her to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. What do you feel about me? Um, how many more vessels? I know we need like two more. Oh, that's a different question. What? Uh, These vessels I've been bringing you, I've hurt them. Back up. Oh, this up. one here. Yeah. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and you are something more than that, too. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. Okay. <laughs> Very profound. Uh... You've been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. You know, I'm going to be nice. Yeah. 
Because we're about I to be mean again. Be to you. you are the only thing I know that isn't me. Fair. Okay. Um. How many more? Uh, and what if I don't want to bring any more vessels? What if I just wait here forever? Ooh. Ooh, I want. Then we will remain here as we are now. Barely finished. Damp. Cavernous. Ooh. Ugh. I don't want to wait. Yeah, no, let's go. We're done. We're done here. Um, enough with all this pretension. You're not actually saying anything. I'm ready to go back. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. I am knives. We will meet again. And we everything goes knives. dark and you die. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Wana, 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 wana. Okay, uh, we're back You're to the on start. You're on a path in the woods. Yeah, You're we here know. to slay we know, we know, we know. No, you can skip previously seen dialogue by hitting tab on your keyboard or L2 on your controller. Okay. Oh, neat. Uh. Okay. Um. Silently continue to the cabin. Sweet, I've always wanted to offer Monarch. Okay. So, um, we've done all of the nice stuff. Um, so we want to silently go to the cabin and be a dickhead, right? Yep. Okay. That is the goal of this run. It's the you dickhead run. Up. Yeah, we know. Proceeding to the cabin. Oh, this is going to make things a lot easier with the tab. This is a great, Ooh. this is a great quality of life improvement. Thank you, Black Tabby the Games. Interior. Yep. Uh, take the blade. You take the blade. And enter the basement. A door. Okay. Um. <laughs> hi. Let's do hi. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, no, screw it. Hi. Hi. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Okay. <laughs> walk down the stairs. And lock eyes with the princess. Yeah, we're gonna There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Uh, okay. Yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh. no, uh, no. Uh, do we want to just be dumb? We can be dumb, dickheads. Oh my God, let's be dumb. dumb you can be a dickhead, and a, dickhead and a dumbass. No, no, uh. <laughs> this is not himbo man because we are not kind no we're not kind uh yeah I'm then drop the knife okay we should it'll go a long way to building trust with her <laughs> don't you dare it's fine we can decide what we want to do after we talk to her maybe she really is a monster but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us huh <sighs> Tighten her. Okay, so we've already we've already set in motion that we're stupid. Um, <laughs> yes. Do we do we submit to the stupidity and just drop it and be like, okay, sorry, lady. Sorry, I think pretty, yes. Sorry, pretty lady. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. We can't add do sex now. Pulls out of your trembling hands and drops to I, the floor. I want to. I want to touch your bubbles. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Okay. <laughs> Against your better judgment, you step forward What's to that? speak with the I, princess. I, I sound like that one character from Ave Un Avenue Q Un or something like that. I'm unfamiliar. We'll be fine. I don't know what those eyes to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Nah, I'm good. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Uh. <laughs> All right. This I think this leads to the um, the the smitten route. Uh, how would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say to that? What's your name? Uh, do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked enough. <laughs> I know, right? 
What do you think? Um. Man, I don't know. I'm looking for one that... I, I'm trying to find one that's particularly stupid. Um, you know what? This one is. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awkward. Yeah. I know. I just said that. Now why are you here to kill me? I don't know. The voice in my head said you. Uh... Do you know why I'm here to kill you? Uh, I've been told things, but I'm... <laughs> you know what? This is the very stupid one. <laughs> why are you here to be okay. killing me? I don't know. Do you know? Please help. Please help. <laughs> that laugh. I think I'm in love. Oh, no. No, that was... That was a... Uh, you are very stupid person. Mm-hmm. Stop it. I have no idea. To be honest, well, I don't even know why I'm down here or how I got here. I need to, okay, give me something deep and philosophical to say and I will do it in that voice. Because I can't, I can't think of something deep and philosophical and do that voice. My brain cells don't function that way. It's either turn them off and do the voice or come up with something deep and philosophical. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you might be able to shed some light on the whole situation. Nope. Sorry, pretty lady. Sorry, pretty lady. Uh, I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> I can keep. I can keep just pressing her on this. I think we have to. I think we have to. Do you? No. That's why I'm asking you. No. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I think we lie to her. Yeah. No. You're lying. No. No. How does she know that? Don't think that just because I'm the one in chains, it means you have a right to interrogate me. I'm sorry. Do you want evidence? Uh. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Fatpool, what's your favorite kind of M&M? I like peanut M&Ms. Uh, peanut M&Ms. I mean, Hell yeah, I'm high sorry, five. I'm sorry, peanut butter M&Ms. Peanut butter oh. M&Ms. Peanut butter M&Ms absolutely slay me. I could down an entire bag of peanut butter M&Ms in a, in a uh, sitting. Blame Guy for that, actually. I uh, will. Uh, how would I get you out of here? How long have you been down here? Okay, I'm done now. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, I bye. Skittles have you in a million what years. To do with me? No, I want to hug you, but you don't seem to like me. You know <laughs> why you're here. Uh. Okay, slay the princess. Okay. Uh-oh! Unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Oh, no! A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Oh, no! My thrust! It feels like you've oh, been baby. hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has I think we've fractured. done all this. I'm gonna hit tab. Yep. This is where she kicks my ass. Mm -hmm. Um... Finished. Okay, I think last time we gave up, and that's where we got Dami Mommy. Yeah. So let's finish the job. Let's finish the job, okay. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here, either. Why are you hitting me? Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing I, right I don't know. She's standing pretty well, and I don't know if you've been stating the facts. Can you not feel yeah, those same. ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. I'm sorry! Oh. <laughs> oh no! 
Once once we finish this, I I will read the profound Stephen Hawking quote in my really dumb voice. The two okay, fall excellent. To the floor. Oh no. This was fun. It was. The princess Aww. gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You got a little something there. Oh, it's the knife I put there. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. I don't know if this is but how I, I got Ghost Princess. Wonder, it might be. Do you really think this is the end? Oh, okay. But you don't yeah, we don't hesitate and then we run away. Things. Everything goes dark and you die. Womp womp. Yeah, okay, we got the adversary last time. I remember this. Okay. But that's okay. That's still a good one to have. Okay, anyway. So Since let me... we are going for the asshole <clears throat> run. <clears throat> one, remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Two, never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose in life. And life is empty without it. Three, if you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. Like that knife. Okay. Uh, you sound like a Muppet. I do sound like a Muppet. I don't, I can't, yeah, a little bit kermit -y, not quite, not like 100% Kermit. -y. It's like half Kermit, half Yoda. <clears throat> yes. 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 Okay. All right. Um, you know, I definitely, I definitely got her last time. Mm-hmm. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the <laughs> very first time. I'm very smug. People die when they're killed. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Ominous. Uh -huh. Fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. I don't remember getting Voice of the Stubborn this one That's time, though. That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Uh, turn and leave. <laughs> no, that's I mean, how... it's giving us that option again. Okay. Interesting. Well, okay, did we get... How did we get Knife Wife last time? I know we turned and left a whole bunch of times till we got that. Uh, can we get Knife Wife again, though? Probably not. Yeah. If we uh, turn around and leave now, there's probably a, a different mechanism that's going to get us to the cabin. Okay, so do, so what do you I think? I would guess. Um, okay, no, we don't want we don't we don't want oh. the incomplete ending. Oh, incomplete yeah. ending. Yeah, no. Let's okay. proceed to the cabin. Proceed. Yep. All right, let's just run up and oh, do a yeah. stab before you go any further. Okay, yeah, I hit tab. She will lie. It, we haven't done this. Cheat. I think we walked away last she time. She will do everything in her mm. power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Lie. Okay, Mr. She Unreliable Narrator. Like okay. Talk. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Uh, Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. Alright, Marg. Uh, proceed into the cabin. Voice of the Stubborn has some distinct Marg energy. He does, yes. The cabin is tighter than mm. its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to yeah, force you directly towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, uh, take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Uh, oh yeah, it's an altar now. It's not a table. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, ignore the mirror. He doesn't care. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. 
the air seeping from below. Everything is tight in here, and I don't like that. With an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Oh, do we just get dragon princess? Up the stairs. Maybe. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. Here comes a new challenger. This isn't what she it's sounded this like guy. last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Uh, I, I could have a, both. As you descend the final step, oh! the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Ha ha ha. Ah, she looks like a oh, tiefling, tiefling princess. princess. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. And you brought your little knife, too. Yes. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. Down boner. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are all of the, like, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you look different. <laughs> oh man, my hands are all sweaty for some reason. Oops, there goes the dagger. Womp womp. <laughs> uh, I'm actually here to free you, so you do remember me. Uh, I'm I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first. She's not interested in, in a therapy session. Um, no, she's not. So I don't know what happened to you since last time we met, but I am not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye. Nope. Uh, slay the princess. I guess so. I mean, we want we want dragon. Mm-hmm. So we got to go all in. All in. So yeah, if we die here trying to kill her, we get it. Oh, we're gonna die, but we're going to, to slay that princess. Mm -hmm. Good. With a singular focus, you launch off the wet stone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count, all right. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum, your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. She grins at you from behind her guard. Oh, she looks badass. Pull yeah, she does. We'll try a different angle. No, we can do this. Just keep pushing. Now is not the time to be stubborn, voice of the stubborn. We're not going to win if our weapon's stuck in her arm. Uh. Hmm. Keep pushing or unlodge the blade and attack from a different angle. So, Which one is trying too hard? Uh, yeah, I feel like keep pushing is trying too hard, but also unlodge the blade and attack her from a different angle implies strategy, which is also trying hard. Yeah. Huh. Well, which one is going to give her a better opportunity to kick us in the nuts? I feel like keep pushing because she's got her arm up, that blade isn't moving, and then yeah. she can literally grab us by the ghoulies and just destroy us. Oh, Scott says unlodge. Oh, unlodge. Okay. Unlodge. Okay. All right, we're going to unlodge. You pull back on the blade's hilt, doing your best to free it from its sinewed prison. But as you tug the blade free, the princess slams you down onto her knee. Oh, oh we've been a bad boy. Oh, no. Oh, here comes the spanking. I like how the cursor has blood on it now. Yeah. It's such a we cool a little detail. We did a stab. Yeah. It, it really is. With your ribs, and you feel them splinter. Oh my god! Like wet wood from the impact. Oh! And you find yourself in midair, effortlessly tossed across the room. Uh, jokes on you! I'm into this shit. <laughs> you hit the floor. Your ribs complaining painfully, but you can feel the hilt in your grip. You still have your weapon. You push yourself off the ground and attack the princess, trying to bait an opening. You do your best to outplay her, slashing out and leaving red cuts in the tattered remains of her white dress. 
but you have little room to maneuver. For every glancing blow you manage to land, she slams you against the wall in retaliation, each impact threatening to be the last. Stop ragdolling me! She's got me stunlocked! This is bullshit! This weak little dance isn't working. Just toughen up and overpower her. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll just wow. I will just regrow all of my ribs. Yeah, just fix them. She's throwing us around like a ragdoll. I think wow. overpowering her is a little out of the question. Did you think you could stop me with a few cuts? All this dancing around is doing nothing but annoying me. I own this place. And I own you. <coughs> oh, baby. Mm? Oh, she regret. <laughs> Fingers gripping your skull. She's gonna pop me like a fucking zit. I'm in trouble. Yep. How disappointing. Oh. She squeezes. Oh, God. The pressure unbearable as her fingers dig into your scalp. The last thing you hear is the unsettling crack of your skull and the sickening churn of what was your grey matter. Holy shit! Brutal. Wow! Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay! Ah, we're gonna thread the needle. Oh! You're on a path in the wood. If you no, were so not. damned afraid of what she'd do to you, we wouldn't have died back there. Oh! Understood. Fear keeps us alive. We died because you didn't have enough of it. So what? You'd have us cower in a corner? No, but that place suits her better than it suits us. She's big. We can't hope to find holes and openings down there. We need more room if we're going to survive. I'm a, I'm a, I am a mature adult because that whole, the we can't hope to find holes and openings down there has me giggling. Are you <laughs> suggesting <laughs> luring her into the woods? Do you have any idea how dangerous that would be? If you lose sight of her, if she manages to slip away, that's it. Game over for everyone, yourself included. Are you not challenging us on all the looping? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Sorry to disappoint what I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation, but that's not what's going on here. We've never met. Then what is going on? What's going on is that you'd only be saying the things you've been saying if you'd already been here, and if you'd already seen things you weren't supposed to have seen. It doesn't matter. We could go in circles forever. I don't like staying still for too long. Let's get to the cabin, see this through. It's good to know that at least one of you is still capable of reason. We may have the same destination, but we're not the same. You are still an other, and I don't trust you. Well, fortunately, you have an entire trip through the woods to reconsider that. There's nothing to reconsider. We're all for violence here. Are we? I haven't signed off on anything yet. Violence <clears throat> is the answer here, but the method is equally important to the act. You can't let her leave the cabin. It's like I said, all just circles. Instinct tells me we need space, and I trust instinct. Nothing else to say. Not for me. Voice of instinct chimes in. Must kill. <laughs> uh, we haven't talked enough about how different this place is. Uh, I wouldn't even call these woods. It's like her influence has poured out into the world. What if I don't agree with the plan? What if I'd rather do something else? No matter what happens next, it seems like all our answers are in the cabin. We might as well see this through. Proceed to the cabin. Silently proceed to the cabin. I'm done. Bye. Okay. Let's uh, um, explore these options yeah. since these are brand new. Since yeah. this scenario is so different. Yeah, let's uh, let's talk about about this and how everything is different and weird. I think. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's evidence of one of many ticking clocks. You can't let her spread any further. Things are always changing. She changed. The cabin changed. We've changed. Why wouldn't the woods change too? Because they're not supposed to have changed. This is supposed to be a path in the woods. If it's not, it means something's gone horribly wrong. Uh, what if I don't agree with your your dumb plan that'll get me killed? You're the chooser. The best we can do is advise. But we can help if you let us. These are just powerless thoughts and opinions. You don't need to let them drag you and the world to ruin. I don't know. Thoughts and opinions have definitely have power and sway. Agreed. Um, 
proceed to the cabin. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up the hill at the cabin. I hope you've given serious thought to your predicament. No last advice for us? No words of warning? <laughs> I don't know, man. This is the first time I'm seeing this shit. From what I gather, you've heard it all before. There's no use screaming into the wind. I don't know. Screaming sounds pretty good right about now. I could use a little catharsis. Catharsis is for when we're finished. For now, we need to hold it out in front of us. Something to chase. Proceed to the cabin. Proceed. The interior of the cabin oh. is suffocatingly tight. More of a glorified tunnel than a building. Its stone walls oh. squeeze against your sides, leaving you no choice but to press forward. The only furniture of note is an iron altar jutting out from the wall. A pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. See? We have even less space than before. We need space or she'll kill us. And the only space is out there. Take it. Uh, yeah, take the blade. Yeah. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. There's no overcoming her without it. We need every part of us to survive, and that steel claw is as much a part of us as any. Uh... Okay, yeah. A mirror? But there is no mirror. There's the iron altar and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. But there is no door. There is. Circles, circles, all of its circles. There's something for us at the end of the room. The what and the why don't matter until we know them. I agree with the freak. Let's get a <laughs> move on already. <laughs> worst comes to worst, we can smash it. Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You're rather committed to the bit, aren't you? The door's right there. It's right in front of you. It's a bit grimy. Why don't we wipe it clean? Smash it! I'm curious. You want me to wipe it clean or smash it? I kind of want to try to wipe it clean. Okay. You and maybe it'll just dissolve into a door. Across the door yeah. Leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides <laughs> so open. You punched the, you punched the, the stone, stone breaking your hand. Dim path ahead. Mm. Why did you do that? Before you is what may as well be a sheer cliff face. Oh my god. There are enough footholds that you'll be able to clamber your way to the bottom, but it will require careful effort. The air hissing up from below is warm and wet, like the breath of an enemy locked in close quarters. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, mm -hmm. bold and fierce and impatient, echoes from the chamber below. Do you have more fight in you than last time? That was such a disappointing show. I know you can do better than that. No, no, I really she can't. She in us. Rile her up. If she's angry, she'll make mistakes. Uh. Oh. Do we want to? Do we want to? Do we want to egg her on? I mean, Scott did say something about keywords being a narrow, little room to maneuver. Yeah. If you want to fight, then how about you come get one? I, I kind of want to goad her. Yeah, I think we gotta. That's not how this works. I'm all chained up, remember? How about you come down here and fight? That me? never seems to matter. We'll I know, right? That us. chain is exactly as long as you need it to be to kick my ass. Fine by me. All right. You've okay. nowhere to go but down. You start the difficult journey, gripping the stone, lowering yourself foot by grueling foot. But soon, there is solid ground beneath you. Remember every crack and crevice. We'll need to be faster than her. You turn to face what oh, lies damn. in the tunnel. The princess, imposing and tightly muscled, grins back at you from the darkness. Her face widens into a broad grin. There you are, knife in hand. How thrilling. 
Attack me, bleed me, twist the blade in my flesh. Break your bones against my body. I want a real challenge this time. Okay. We can't get that close. She'll kill <laughs> us in the tight space. Steal the yeah, or no, not. Yeah, no, if we get up to her, she's going to come to us. wreck us. Stand beyond her chains and let her become frenzied. She'll break them. Then we run. I really don't like the sound of this. It's the only way we live. Well, what are you waiting for? If we're going to do this right, you can't be scared. You need to want this as much as I do. This is some weird foreplay, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I know, right? Don't keep me waiting. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to have a good time. Smash the tall button. Okay. Let's talk a bit first. We can always fight when we're done. But I have questions. I want to know what happened after you killed me. Not down here. If you want me, you'll have to come and get me. If you want a good fight, if you really want to see me at my best, we need somewhere with more space. Why don't you want to be free? Why do you insist on fighting me to the death down here in the dark? I'm not fighting you. Step closer, stopping just outside her chains. That one. Yeah. That. Mm. Well, if we step closer, that's out just outside of her chains. It's going to taunt her. We want to get her close. We want to... I guess that's the only taunt option, isn't it? But the the voice of the hunted said that we need to be prepared to run, and if we're just outside the reach of her chains, once she breaks them, we're right there. Yeah, but he also said we need to get close so that she gets like she'll snap her chains. Mm. Okay, um, yeah, and I guess all of these are just explore. They're not necessarily yeah. going to do anything. Um. I okay. Because I think she's, it's like, if we say not down here, if you want me, you'll have to come and get me. Like, that seems to give away the game. Mm -hmm. I think if we just step closer, just stopping out just outside the chains is the way to go. Okay. You step forward, stopping just outside the reach of her chains. The princess scoffs. Oh, you're up to something tricky, aren't you? No. No. You're teasing me with what I want. But I'm sick of waiting. Oh shit, here we go. Here we go. I'm not going to let you give me another bad fight. I'm going to get what I want. Bloody desire oh, in her fuck. eyes. The princess rushes forward, ignoring her chains as they bend and snap. Run. Run, 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 run. Nope, 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 nope. You turn back the way you came and scramble up the ledge towards the tunnel entrance. As you near the top. Hands desperately clawing at jagged stone, you glance back. Why did you look back? Right on your heels. She doesn't bother to scale the wall as you do, instead digging deep into the rock of the cliff face with her fingertips in her rabid pursuit. Anywhere you go, I will follow. This is hard! <laughs> you reach the ledge and hoist yourself up into the tunnel, the cabin door finally in sight, at once within your grasp and infinitely distant. What is all of this? Oh. What's the point? You and I are always going to end in violence, so why bother to run? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? Little bird, little bird, where do you think you're going? We're almost there. Don't think about almost. We're there when we're there, and we'll take the fight with us. Your skin hums tight with adrenaline as you burst through the cabin door and roll onto the grass. You glance back at the cabin as the princess, singular in her desire to destroy you, explodes through the doorway. You are walking a dangerous path. If you waver once, it's all over. So get it right. There's nothing left to slow me down. Do you think this is better for you? Yes. Do you think this space gives you an edge? Maybe. Then show me. Show me that you've been worth all the room you've taken up in my head. Oh, she's obsessed oh. with us. Mm. Uh, 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 oh. Do it. Be swift. Strike true. Be where she's not. Let your body move you. I, voice of the Hunted, I don't have Ultra Instinct, okay? I'm just a bird dude with a knife. <laughs> uh, you've fallen right into my trap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I mean, do we want to do that? Do we want to be? Do we want to be stupid and just be like, ha ha ha? Now what? Yeah, let's be stupid. Let's do it. Oh, we'll see about that. Traps aren't real. The only thing that's real is bloodshed. 
Oh God! He <laughs> determines to end you in a single move. Left now. Oh, the princess damn. strikes, your body swerves to the left. She overextends, stumbling as her balance shifts unexpectedly. I like her wild hair. Like, this is awesome yeah, looking. Yeah, that's like, really gorgeous. This is really good art. Like, goddamn. Strike. Before you can finish the thought, you lash out, the blade slicing through her leg. She turns to swing again. Right. You move out of the way, but this oh. time is not quite as clean. You can feel a bruise already blooming where her elbow crashed into flesh. It's nothing. A scratch. Yes, it could be worse. And you managed to gift her another cut in return. I'll be damned. I didn't actually think you'd be able to do this. We're actually going to pull this off, aren't we? You just might. But don't let it get to your head. Not until it's over. Yes, finally! This is the hole I felt in my heart. This is what I've needed. This is what I've been missing. This is how it always needed to end. Both of us giving it our all, beating and bleeding each other to death. The two of you engage in a devastating flurry of blows, each of you wounding the other again and again. She's stronger, but you're faster. And the deeper the both of you fall into your lethal dance, the more your edge shines over hers. She's slowing down, blood pouring from wounds, splattering at her feet, leaving her weak and unsteady. I'm literally on the edge of my seat. This is good shit. This oh, is really good keep shit. Going. We can't stop now. You spy an opening, but this time she's waiting for you. Oh no. She lets you sink the blade deep, trapping you in place long enough to wrap you in her impenetrable arms. You're slammed to the ground. I got a death hug. Yeah. Nothing. These blows are nothing to us. But her gambit wasn't enough to close the gap. It wasn't enough to kill you. She stares you down, coughing up a splash of blood as she gasps for breath. <sighs> You've outplayed me, haven't you? Something feels wrong. Something. I mean, there's a dagger in your chest. Then what happens? Bye! Schlorp. Well, that was fun. Uh, but you do not have the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? I, I, I gotta find her! She was so hot! And that I mean, she Why was. Why now? Uh, approach the mirror. We know what's gonna happen here. Yep. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. That thing reeks of death. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. I need to find. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze unto me. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. It me, I'm melting. Or melting. You've withered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. I'm gonna find that cabin. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if the hot lady wants to fight me again. You are at the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. I, 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 I would, it would have been hilarious if the hands were, like, barely containing her. That would have been pretty good, yeah. Um, you can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How can you stand to be a contradiction? It doesn't how many, matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? What do you think of this vessel? Mm -hmm. This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now, I feel a will pushing against mine. 
not realizing that we are one, she will make for a fierce heart. Fierce, yes. 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 We will provide her with the growth she fought for. Uh, doesn't matter how many times I go back. Enough with all the pretension. You're not actually saying anything. You know, at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? So you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind. What do you want me to bring you next time? How many more vessels? Okay. What do you think? Anything here catching your eye? Um. Kind of interested in the contradiction stuff. Sure. Uh, let's do... Oh, everything you say feels like a riddle. Oh, no, we, I think we did that one. Let's do this one. You can't be a contradiction. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. Okay. I'm ready to go back now. Okay. I'll be here when it is time for us to meet again. Crunch. Everything Crunch. goes dark and you die. <laughs>